Good evening, Lisa. Good evening, Andrew. Introduction by Mr. Trowbridge. Why should I not publish my video diary? I have often seen reminiscences of people I have never heard of and I fail to see, because I do not happen to be a somebody, why my diary should not be interesting. My only regret is that I did not commence it when I was a youth. <laughs> what am I doing there, Lisa? You're doing um, a parody of the opening of Diary of a Nobody. Mr. Pooter. Mr. Pooter. Yes. Diary of a Nobody by George and a Whedon Grossmith. Grossmith, yes. Now again, yes. I've, I have written a blog entry on this subject. You have to do a voice for Mr. Yes, Peter, isn't know, it? No, no. It's that sort yes, of yes. it's it's a character you sort of yes. adopt. Yes. But this is a book from Victorian days by mm -hmm. George and Whedon Grossmith. Um, initially it was in Punch mm -hmm. magazine as a sort of serialization. So a bit like Dickens. Yes. And mm -hmm. the first book um, version is eighteen ninety two. Okay. Now I'd never heard of this as a kid. No. Um, it doesn't seem to be sort of taught in schools, does it? it was, no. Which is a shame. No. You know, they they ram Shakespeare and Dickens yes. at yes. you, mm -hmm. um, and in in some ways, some sometimes that can actually put you off by being sort of mm -hmm. sort of forced to to, to, read it. to study yeah. this. Yeah. But I, I I really wish I'd heard of Diary of a Nobody when I was a lot younger. Because, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've known it for a while now, mm -hmm. um, and I've read it two or three times. Mm -hmm. But you know, the audio book version of it is mm -hmm. is, is, is brilliant, and I've, we've got the Martin Jarvis one. Yes. But what we want to talk about um, this evening is, mm -hmm. if you want to zoom it in, who's that then? That's Hugh Bonneville. That's Hugh Bonneville. Get his get his mug on there again. Zoom right into his eyes. Ooh, he's all, he's all reflecting. Yeah, but this is one that he's on the back right, okay. with his telescope, with and, his his, telescope and his broad stairs, and his boater when he's on it. Not his straw helmet. Way. No, or well, Lupin won't walk with him. He's got no. his straw helmet on. No. He thinks it's embarrassing. Mm. But this is a four part, um, sort of four half hour mm -hmm. version. So <coughs> it's it's quite cut down from the book, isn't yes. it? Um, yes. But I, th I think um, it, gets the it, it, get, it. it really yeah. does mm. get it right. I think because yeah. it, it's done in the style of a sort of Alan Bennett talking head. Yes, isn't it? it's a mon monologue. Because yeah. there are there are lots of adaptations of it. Yes. I mean, there's one with Arthur Lowe mm -hmm. um, on the radio. There's one. There's a Richard Briers one. Mm. As we said, we've got a Martin Jarvis version where he gets the name where he gets one of the names wrong we'll talk about that in a minute and mm -hmm. then there's a version done with Johnny Vegas recently on, the okay. ra on Radio Gosh. 4 so mm -hmm. all these people have have sort of done Mr Pooter <laughs> but I think yeah. Arthur Lowe's a, a very interesting choice because yes. there is a bit of Mr of Captain Mannering about yes. Mr Pooter isn't there Yes. He's he's got that sort of easily pricked pomposity he has, he? Yes, he's, I mean he's, they're not quite the same no but, no. but you know, the, the, the whole point of this is that it's just the daily happenings mm -hmm. to Mr. Pooter. And it starts yeah. off that they've moved into their, their, their house, house, the Laurels, yes. isn't it? Yeah. And what is it? There's a railway at that the runs at the, the garden. bottom. So, and it cracks the wall, doesn't yes. it? So, and the landlord's given a Ta little bit off the rent. Takes some money off, off yes. the rent. But you, you've got all the stuff with the boot <laughs> scraper. Yes, that so everybody keeps falling over the boot scraper. Everybody keeps going arse over, t over the boot, boot yeah. scraper. Mm. And they, they do get the ironmonger in to move it to at move one it, point, yeah, don't they? Yeah. But then he goes out and he comes back mm -hmm. and they find that they fractured the gas main yes. as well, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> trying to move the boots So it's this yeah. thing about this stuff sort of all escalates. It spirals, doesn't yes. it? Um, yes. But his two close friends are comings mm -hmm. and going, mm -hmm. or as um, Martin Jarvis says, gowing. Gowing. Completely Com ruining the joke. Completely ruining the joke mm -hmm. that Cummings is always going and going is always coming. Yes. Uh, what is it? Mr. Pooter doesn't often make jokes. No. Um, no. But strangely enough, comings and goings don't seem to think that's very funny, do they? No. No. But as he said, you know, they're quite happy to laugh at their own jokes, but yes. as soon as he makes one, they yes. don't, don't think it. Don't think it's very funny. It's funny. Mm -hmm. So his his dear wife is Carrie, mm -hmm. and their son is William. William. Yes. Or as he prefers to be known, Lupin. Lupin or Willie. Yeah. They call him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he says he, he sort of 
he's not known as as Willy amongst his yes. friends. No, if you no. if if you were to Willy him, yes. um, he, they wouldn't know what you you were on about. Because mm -hmm. uh, as again, as I've said in the blog, um, Lupin Pooter mm. is actually the the name of the Victorian dad character oh, right, in okay. Viz. Because uh -huh. um, he's I've got a sort of a Viz compilation upstairs where they go on mm. um, holiday to the to the beach, and he's got one of those changing sort of things oh, on right, wheels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, his wife does refer to him as, as Lupin. Oh, right, okay. uh, and later on, somebody says Mrs. Pooter to her. Oh, so right. if you put the two together, yes. So I don't, I don't quite. It's not the whole point about Lupin though. Is he's quite rebellious against yes. Mr. Pooter. Yes, I he mean, is. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you you've got um, now. What have you got? You've got um, he works for Mr. Perkup, yes. doesn't he? Because he's a, he's a clerk. Yes. Well, it's not quite clear what is what the firm is. It's it's something to do with money. Yes, it's, it's like I get the impression it's like a sort of stockbroker kind yeah. of thing, or some sort of financial advisors yes. or something. Yes. Cause and all he does is, is, is they write bits of. Yeah. Do paperwork, so they'll write. You know, it's all done in in longhand, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. With a pen. But yeah, yeah you you don't. As I said, all, all all in the production we've got the cameras always on. Mm. Um, um, Hugh Bonneville. Yes. And we enjoyed it so much that we mm. tweeted him to say how much we we liked it, and he. he he replied in character, he didn't did. he? Which, was, which I thought was lovely. It was really nice of him because he must get he must have got lots of tweets. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, probably when did we do it? Had, had he been in? Um, I think he might Downton have been in Abbey Downton Abbey then. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. probably everybody only wanted to talk to him about mm. Downton Abbey, mm. and probably mm. nobody wanted to talk to him about Bone Kickers. No, <laughs> I like Bone Kickers. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Don't touch me. I'm an archaeologist. Yes, <laughs> anybody that can deliver that line with a straight face has, has got to be pretty good. But because this was on BBC Four, I don't yes. think it got a huge audience. No, which and is I know a there's a lot of people. I saw a lot of amongst the sort of websites and things that we go on that didn't like it because they'd, really? they'd cut it down. And I don't well, know. I mean, I've looked at sort of unexpurgated versions, and mm. the the complete thing runs about four hours if you mm. were to do it. Yeah. So yeah. these are four half-hour episodes. So this mm -hmm. is a two-hour running time. It's yeah. adapted by Andrew Davies. Mm -hmm. um, but, frankly, all he's had to do is decide which bits to cut out. He's not like he's added anything. No, oh, excuse me. Um, there is one bit, I think, which isn't in the book, um, where he's on holiday at Broadstairs. Mm -hmm. And um, he notices they've got a gong. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, with, a, with, a, with a donger. To, yeah. And he picks the donger up and he bangs the gong. It makes a huge noise. He immediately drops the donger and exits. As though, <laughs> no, that wasn't me. Yes. And I don't know whether that sort of evolved in rehearsals yes, or what. Yes, really a little know. bit of business. Yeah. But this is, this is done in widescreen. And you mm. might wonder, well, is there any great advantage in doing it in, in sort of widescreen format if it's mm. just a bloke talking at you? But the camera follows him around his house a lot. There's a mm. lot of handheld stuff. Yes. And they've decorated the set mm. with all sorts of detail, which it's very carefully mm. um, arranged where, where, like... I mean, there's there's a running joke about he, he only buys really cheap whiskey. Mm. And, they, and they'll do a big close-up of the whiskey bottle, mm -hmm. and then a wide shot of him sitting by the fire, and the camera will slowly sort of move round mm. and yeah so so for what could be quite a static thing mm. i think the the production on it is is is, is very good and very watchable yes um yeah. yes it's all about the words mm -hmm. um, i mean there are uh, there, there are other tv adaptations there, there was mm -hmm. a, the ken russell one from 1964 yes. which is sort of done like a almost like a silent yeah, movie it's a silent movie it? with the Captions, isn't yeah. it? I think yeah. I've seen it once. Yeah, um, so that does exist. Mm -hmm. um, we did see it on YouTube. It has been removed yes. from YouTube. Again, why does that? Why don't people reject? Uh, re well, that's the thing. I'd be very happy to pay money for this because yeah. it's a great little mm -hmm. sort of oddity, really. Because it's a very early Ken mm -hmm. Russell thing. And John, like most of Ken Russell things, it's a bit yeah. weird. And John McGrath is involved as well. Yes. Uh, um, of sort of Z cars mm -hmm. and, and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, so for the people that are involved, it's a great little thing. Mm. There's a 1979 one as well with Terence Hardiman, apparently, right, but I've, okay. never, I've never seen that at all. No. Um, I assume that, that exists, but mm -hmm. 
Uh, but yeah, this this is for me a very very good ad adaptation of it, and they've mm -hmm. they've chosen Hugh well yes. because he really does do it. Because mm -hmm. there's the whole stuff with the, the red enamel paint. Oh that I God, love. yeah, that's like the death of Marat. Yeah, because he, he gets obsessed with red enamel yeah. paint and painting everything. everything. Yeah, including the coal, the coal scuttle yeah, books. Books. The, the his servant's chest of drawers. Yeah, I notice in the, this version they've got some. They've got one solitary ice skate. That oh. he's totally covered in red paint and, okay. and, and the taps from the bath. Yes. But the joke is that he he does the bath, mm -hmm. then falls. He, he has a really hot bath, yeah. sort of, and then sort of half falls asleep and wakes up. And he, he the red has come off onto him, and he thinks yeah. he's bleeding or yeah. something. So well, sort of, he like, holds his hand up, and it's red. Yeah, well, it's like yes, it's like Death of Marat. Is yeah. it, yeah. it Marat? Marat in the bath. Yeah, yeah so. he, who who was a French. Revolutionary. Yes, see the National Theatre of Brent yes, Revolution. He was, yeah. he was killed in the bath by a girl, wasn't he? I, I, I don't know. He got his throat cut. I don't know the I experience. remember there was, the, when we went to, there used to be a waxworks in Braiding on the Isle of Wight. Oh, right. And one of the exhibits oh, was the that? death of yes, Marat of in the bath. Because the National Theatre of Brent do it, where yeah. Desmond's in the bath. Oh, God, yeah. Do you want some more hot tea? And, and yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Who is it? Is assistant it's, uh, in this one? Wallace, I think. Which is uh, Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is Marriott's mum with yeah. his sort of cap, sort of mat, what is it, a mop Little cap? Little mop cap thing, but with his suit and, on. And a big jug of yes. water. Do you want some more hot in? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really, really like this this production, mm. and um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say too much about no. about it because it's one of those things I think. You need to discover yourself. for yourself, yeah. isn't it? You yeah. know, we we can yeah. say how how brilliant we think it yes. is, and and we certainly do. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I and I just love all the different variations that people mm -hmm. put on it because we just sort of heard a little bit of the Richard Briers one tonight, yes. didn't we? And the Richard Briers ones, the, the voice he's doing is very like his voice for Martin Bryce in well, well, that's the thing. Every I think it's it's quite inspired yeah. it, it, by Martin it's, Bryce. It's, it's interesting how every actor Puts a different slant, sort of approaches yeah. it differently. And that looked like, that sounded like it was a radio play because you had different people. Yes, so I think, yeah. um, I think Sheldon Smith might have been, I think I recognised her. All right. And it also sounded like Roy Holder, but we okay. didn't, yeah. Uh, I need up. to go through the, I need yeah. to go through the lists, but, uh, as, as the, as but the, the, there's, si there's just silly things, like he'll mm. go, was it at Christmas, he goes to get mm. some Christmas cards and mm. he, he sort of objects to the way people pick up Christmas cards and then throw them down again mm -hmm. and he says he sort of he has a word with the assistant saying mm -hmm. you, know, you know people aren't treating these right then immediately knocks over a huge pile of mm -hmm. Christmas cards and then feels obliged to buy some because mm -hmm. they say they have to be like sold as seconds now mm -hmm. but, so yeah there, there, there's a great sort of it's very a sort of traditional sort of English comedy Yes. Sort of hero character. Well, yeah. not hero, isn't it? You know, because yeah. he's not really a hero, but no. the lead character in a British comedy. You can yes. see he's elements a, a of all bumbly, sorts of, isn't of, of people in there. Bumbly right? but well-meaning. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you've you've read sort of other diary things because you like yeah. um, Adrian Mole, yes, don't you? I do, yes. And yes. What, what was the um, the what's her name? Helen. Oh, Bridget Jones. Bridget Jones. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more about the calories and the men and the sex. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get that in diary. You don't get that in diary with nobody, but it's interesting that this is a sort of literary form that yeah. people keep going back to. Well, it's, it's a very easy thing to do, isn't yeah. it? To write a diary. Hmm. I mean, I've done it. I I did it um, not long after the TV movie on a, on a website we used to go on, and I did. Oh, really? It was very naughty because I did pinch. The format of, of Bridget Jones' diary oh, by right. doing like not yeah. calories and things but different things, and it was all about how Paul McGann was following me. Oh, right, okay. yeah. <laughs> but it amused the people on the website, so. <laughs> okay. But I find this, you know, even the book, it's it reads very modern, doesn't mm. it? You know, it, Dickens, I find, can be a yeah. bit dense, it in, is in very dense in terms of the yes. sentences, yes. and you I have to concentrate, yes. don't I'll, you? To, I, to get, I, the most out of Dickens. I like Dickens. I, I, I like to watch the adaptations. I do mm. find the prose quite hard to read. Yes, it, it, it's. You have to really think about it. Yeah. And so it's no good doing it anyway where there's a little bit of noise because you get distracted. Yeah, Dickens requires so. you to concentrate and you get yes. a lot out of it if you yeah. do. 
Diary, diary, diary of a Nobody doesn't require that level of concentration. But you still get a lot but of But I, th- I think, I think mm-hmm. it really stands up mm-hmm. and, and uh, is, for, for when it's written, it, it's, it's, it's so familiar in yeah. terms of if, you, if yeah. you know your sort of 60s, 70s comedy. Yes. That, that yes. you can see the connection. Yes. It's very interesting yes, the way it works. It's, you know, and I, I really like it. He's, and he's a very well-meaning person, Charles Pooter. Well, yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, there's yes. nothing nasty about him. No. Yeah, he's a bit he's a bit sort of up himself, yes. isn't he? and he, he gets but... a bit um, annoyed by things he probably shouldn't get annoyed by. But he loves so Carrie and he cares he about Lupin, you he know. Does. And, he does, he does. And his friends. Yeah, and his friends. And I always love it in the end of the book and the series where, cause, um, and this is a spoiler, mm. so if you don't want to know this, you should switch off. Uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Perkup, his boss. Because yeah. I don't know why he does it, but maybe because he's just doing such a good job. Well, no, it is. It's to do that he's got a. Um, he, he's managed to get um, a client for the for the for the firm. Oh right, okay. Um, so yeah, yeah he's sort of helped. He's helped the firm out. Um, yes. And yes, um, is it? It's Mr. Hard for Huttle. Oh right, who's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's sort, mm-hmm. sort of a big shot and. Mm-hmm. Uh, because of because of Mr. Pooter, mm. um, yeah. So, so he basically buys the house for him and gives him the house. Yes. And he's so overwhelmed and emotional, and it always makes me sort of tear up a little bit. It's quite ridiculous. Yeah. Because you know he's just he's so happy. All he wants is his house and his wife, and yeah. that's all he wants. Yeah. You know. He's happy with that, and yeah. I'm kind of having not with my wife. But <laughs> what you say, I'm a bit like Mr. Pooter, and you're a bit yeah, like Carrie. Like Carrie, yes. Oh, yeah. ah. So oh, that's yes. nice. Maybe that's why we like it. Then. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, there you go. There's Diary of Nobody. Just hold mm. it up again. Uh, ooh, here he is. You gone. <laughs> <laughs> Doing things. Okay. We shall say good night now. Then. Okay. Good night, Carrie. Good night, Charles.